going to put the carabiner front straps on. We attach the carabiner to the mainframe of the wheelchair where the horizontal and the vertical bar meet. Put the clip into the track, pushing down so the plunger lifts up, making sure you hear it click. The front straps need to be opposite each other in the rail. Come to the rear of the wheelchair because they're non-adjustable. Remove the brakes. Pull the wheelchair towards you. Put your brakes back on. To restrain the rear, the Nexus has two straps that go onto the wheelchair and your passenger harness all combined into one unit. We put the clip into the track, again making sure we hear it click. We hold the straps up. We have an over centre buckle carabiner. And we also have an extended strap with a ring in. The way this works is the strap will go round the wheelchair and the carabiner will join onto the ring of the strap. You then pull the loose webbing down, hold it tight, start to close the buckle over, again letting the webbing go, close. Same for the other side, open the buckle, the strap around the frame, put the carabiner through the ring, pull down tight, close, wheelchair is now secured. I'm now going to put the passenger harness on. All of our reels are colour coded black and blue for ease of use. The black is the lap, blue is the diagonal. They all split into two, so split the reel into two. Let the blue go down, concentrate on the lap belt first. You bring the lap belt around the side of the person, either come do th down through the gap in the armrest. If there isn't a gap there, you come underneath the armrest itself. Come across the lap of the person, Put the tongue into the buckle. Come to the rear, take the blue webbing, pull it all the way out of the reel, squeeze the clunk clip on to stop it retracting back into the reel. <clears throat> Place the webbing over the shoulder, underneath the arm. There is no tension on this belt at the present. Take hold of the webbing, release the clunk clip, bring down onto the shoulder. For comfort, take hold of the webbing, pinch, lift a little, bite an inch, and squeeze on. To remove the system, we'll start by removing the shoulder strap. Take hold of the blue strap, come underneath the armrest, back over the head, and down. Remove the clunk clip, and gently put back into the reel. Take hold of the lap strap, come underneath, and back. To remove the nexus, we're going to push the red bar of the over centre buckle up, remove the carabiner from the ring, take off, join, close. So it's open the buckle. Remove the hook, close the buckle, remove the clip. To remove the front straps, lift the clip out of the rail, remove the hooks, all of our passenger harnesses come with a floating tongue. This is to be used in conjunction with the cart rail system and a third point fixing. We place that into the track, undo the tongue from the buckle, bring the floating tongue up and attach it to the buckle. The buckle is adjustable so that the tongue should be roughly approximately two inches off the shoulder and just behind the ear of the person. This gives you the same type of fixings you have in your car.